Roth's flesh laboratory makes even the lowest tier units masters of the battlefield, or the most unstable units completely overpowered in auto resolve. This video is going to cover the use of Throth's Flesh Laboratory, discussing the use of mutagen, the best upgrades, and how you can use these upgrades to get completely free units. First, we'll start with the resources involved in the Flesh Lab. They are growth juice, mutagen, and food. You can gain growth juice from battles and buildings. It builds up a stockpile where you can claim various different monster units. More growth juice means higher tier monster clusters. Claiming any cluster will reset the stockpile. If you don't claim any clusters, the final batch, the Hell Pit Abomination, will be claimed automatically, resetting the stockpile of growth juice. Claiming a cluster grants a number of the units selected, then usually some Skaven Slave and Wolf Rat units. The numbers of each are random. These end up in a recruitable pool, a lot like Rakarth's Monsters or Draka's Wild units. When recruited, they each come with at least one of the unlocked Flesh Lab upgrades. Personally, I use these as emergency units, but they're pretty good for recruiting on the go if you can't really return to somewhere with good units. Claiming the batch also grants 10 base food, so timing this properly can be really useful for capturing new cities. Another thing you get when you claim a growth fat batch is mutagen. Mutagen is used for purchasing Flesh Lab upgrades on units, which I'll cover in more detail later. So I like to get tons of the wolf rat clusters to increase the amount of mutagen I get, and you'll see additional benefits from claiming the smaller growth fat batches faster. Of note is that the mutagen resource can deplete. It has a max holding capacity of 100 to begin with, and you can eventually purchase an upgrade to increase that capacity to 200. If you end a turn over the capacity, you will lose some of that mutagen. Now that we know the resources involved, let's take a look at the Flesh Lab interface. This screen defaults to upgrades for infantry units in Throt's army, but you can check through the other lords on the right, or switch to monster units at the top. Before we dive into these unit upgrades, let's take a look at the upgrades available to the Flesh Lab itself. The top three options are temporary bonuses that you can purchase with either food, money, or mutagen to increase unit replenishment, or mutagen. They're on a 10 turn cooldown, so use them when you really need them or when you have excess resources. I personally find the money one to be the best value because you can get extra mutagen that way. The rest of the options on this screen are permanent and start to unlock as you unlock more growth fat batches, meaning if you unlock the wolf rat clusters consistently, you'll hit the higher tiers sooner. They each cost an amount of food and money so a good time to buy them is when you're about to hit your food capacity and don't have cities to settle. Some of these upgrades are more valuable than others. Sample Collectors grants extra growth juice, always useful. Bio Recycle Chamber is nice for extra food generation. Deep Freezer is nice if you want extra mutagen capacity. And then the very best one is Mutagen Distillation. This is a very deadly combination for creating your free doom stacks by stacking instabilities but we'll go over instabilities later. For now, let's discuss the unit upgrades. There are two sets, one for infantry units and one for monster units. Upgrades are locked at the beginning of a campaign and unlocked as you unlock upgrades below it. Each unit upgrade costs a certain amount of mutagen, 25 for most upgrades, 50 for the high tier upgrades. This amount is cut in half if a unit has instability, so it's more efficient mutagen-wise to upgrade already unstable units. So how do you get instability? There's a 10% chance of getting instability with the first upgrade on a unit and an additional 10% chance for each further upgrade. There are four levels of instability. One, unit health falls 25% at the beginning of combat. Two, health falls to 50% at the beginning of combat. 3, health falls to 75%, and then 4, you still get the health falling and the unit explodes when it enters melee combat, just like a bloated corpse. So if you want powerful units without instability, the key is to use key upgrades and keep them limited. Or you can save scum. If you want to make sure you don't get instabilities or vice versa, just make a new save. Each new save resets the RNG so that you can make sure that you get instabilities or not. But which upgrades do you want? I'll highlight my personal favorites here. 
For regular upgrades to infantry that don't depend on instability, I recommend these four. Stalker senses for an invisible army if you're into that. Smart feeding for bonus casualty replenishment and reduced upkeep. Spider senses for the physical resistance at the cost of melee attack. So it is better on ranged units. And then Necroparasites, which heals models and raises dead ones like Invocation of Nahek, which is better on melee infantry because ranged tends not to get as damaged. For regular upgrades to monsters that don't depend on instabilities, I recommend these six. Lobotomy, which adds Bound Warp Lightning Rod, which is a great spell. This is better on single entities because they get less damaged by the spell. Synaptic Response Stimuli, Bonus speed and physical resistance with no negatives. Always nice. And it's good on all monster units. Autotomy. Increased casualty replenishment and reduced upkeep. Cellular instability. Basically adds warp bomb to your unit at the cost of some casualty replenishment. Pairs really well with autotomy and again is better on single entities because it'll do more damage to grouped units. Acidic Musk Glands adds a bound direct damage spell that can be used an infinite number of times after a cooldown and has no negative effects. This is great on all monster units. Then we have Bloodworm, which turns a unit into an undead unit and grants the hunger to allow for regeneration while in melee. This is good on units with high entity health that are often engaged in melee, like the normal and mutant rat ogres. I think these are the best upgrades because there are no or negligible negatives that only boost your units, basically. But let's see about adding some negatives. If you want to stack instability for free units, you can still go through these upgrades and hope you get the instabilities or safe scum for them, but you can force instability a bit faster if you choose these upgrades first. For infantry, accelerated mitosis, then final evolution. For monsters, Forced Aneuploidy, then Ultimate Mutagen. These will end up adding five upgrades, greatly increasing the chance of instabilities after that. And there's always a chance you get the good upgrades as part of that. So now you can stack instabilities and greatly reduce upkeep on your units, and they'll get to free. Without supply lines, getting to three instability and having the upkeep reduction upgrade is usually enough for free units. But when supply line costs get too high, you'll need explosive instability to make it free. But how do you maintain a bloated corpse army? Aren't you just going to have to recruit more? Not if you're doing it right. Melee units obviously will be a struggle in actual combat because they'll lose health quickly and or explode on impact. But they have excellent auto resolve capabilities. And unlike bloated corpses, they usually don't die, nor do they even take instability damage. So they're stronger in auto resolve than in manual combat, if that's what you're into. Ranged units, on the other hand, will do just fine. So a weapons team army is still a great choice, especially if you have things like plague priests defending the front line. So no unit ever touches the weapons teams. And there you have it, my guide to Throt's Flesh Lab. If you want to see how I built a lot of this, check out the live stream here. Or if you want another mechanics guide, check out Torox Rampage right here. Thanks for stopping by.